Welcome back to Corbin Jones Official. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please can we raise our hands together for the famous Hurricane Hatton! It's Campbell Hatton! <laughs> you, you what? Campbell Hatton? You mean Corbin Jones Official? They bloody gone and got it wrong again, haven't they, guys? Welcome back to another video here on Corbin Jones Official. Yes, I'm back after two weeks. Yes, I've been away to Wales, I have. But on today's video, we're talking about the famous Campbell Hatton, Hurricane Hatton, Ricky Hatton's son. Um, I tell you what, he only just did his second match on the 1st of May. And I tell you what, he did absolutely amazing. So well done to Campbell Hatton. Now... Back in March this year, Campbell Hatton first had his professional fight on Sky Sports box office. If you guys did watch it, please give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. But on today's video, we're going to be talking about Campbell Hatton. We're going to be having a look back at his first interview and also when he first arrived on that stage to enter that boxing ring. So, without further ado, let's head straight into... Today's YouTube video. So here's a video of uh, Campbell Hatton and also Ricky Hatton uh, just talking about boxing, Manchester City. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I love Campbell Hatton so much. Uh, I also love Ricky Hatton, but I love Campbell Hatton the most. And I really hope he achieves uh, what he wants to achieve in life. And I hope he follows the steps of his dad uh, into the future. Uh, so let, uh, anyway, let's watch this footage from BBC Three uh, of uh, Ricky Hatton and also Campbell Hatton. Any kid off the street in any gym looks up to the likes of my dad. To be his son, there is that bit of expectation and stuff, but I've always dealt with it well. It's just an extra bit of motivation. Match of the Day X are here in Manchester at a very special boxing gym with the Hitman and the Hurricane. You turned over, you've gone pro. Was there ever any doubt that this is the route that you were going to take with a dad like yours? No, I think this, from the second I walked in a boxing gym, I knew that this is what I wanted to do and this is what I wanted to make a career out of. The city's obviously wearing a shirt, yeah. a club that's uh, close to your heart. Are you going to be bringing City into your kind of boxing career in the same way that, that your dad did and kind of take those fans? Yeah, definitely. I'm a very proud City fan. I've been, I think I was... I've seen pictures of me at Main Road when, just before like, they moved. So City's been part of my whole life, so it's definitely something that I'm going to be bringing along with me and putting a show on for all the other Blues and the Red Lot. But, um, <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I want to be entertaining for all of Manchester, not just, not just City. Um, I'm proud of where I'm from, so whether the blue or reds, what I put a show on for both of them. You got any funny stories, like, you know, when you were a kid? I know you've been down, down to Main Road from the age of, from about this high, literally. Well, I hope, it, hope I don't get in any miver for this, but when, <laughs> back when we won the league... Sergio Aguero! Aguero! Everyone's running on the pitch, and I've managed to get in with uh, my dad's, one of my dad's mates on, <laughs> in the south stand, so flying over the barrier, running, <laughs> running down to the uh, corner flag, trying to have that away, but... Didn't manage to get it. <laughs> <laughs> if there was one player you could pick from the Prem, a rival player, you've got to share a, a few rounds with in the ring, who would it be and why? Martial. Something about him going down like that penalty the other week as well. <laughs> Gunning for him. True or false, during the glory years, Ricky Hatton was bigger than Man City. <laughs> I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to say. I think. I um, see that smart says uh, yes, no. did it? Hey, I mean, I mean, we've won the we've won the Premier League, the FA Cup, the League Cup. We haven't quite won the the, the Champions League yet, but I mean, I maybe pushed it close. But I think watching this City team team performing the way they are at the minute, I think uh, I'm gonna have to give it to the Blues. Yeah. You had a few gimmicks in your time. You come out in a fat suit and, and all kinds, and, and the press conferences were always interesting. Are we gonna see any? Don't need gimmicks a fat from... suit now, does it? <laughs> All right, get, get on that bag, you. Get some work done. <laughs> I hope he doesn't come out in the fat suit, you know. I've got, you know, <laughs> you know those are the things we want to leave behind him, putting weight on like his dad did. We don't want them, them days are long gone, I think. But uh, at the end of the day, he is me, he is my son, you know what I mean? And that's what I think people are loving for. 
the heat. Campbell, this is a game where we're going to pit two footballers against each other, and you've got to tell us who's going to win in a boxing match, right? All right, first up, we've got Vincent Company versus Mario Balotelli. Evenly matched, didn't they, really? Mm -hmm. I mean, Vinny is the most placid man you could ever you could ever meet, so you can't really imagine him in a fight, but it was no nonsense on the football field. He had no problems of putting his um, boot up your backside, and Balotelli was just a pest. I think I'd go for Vincent Company, mate. He's a snapper, Balotelli, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> just set no prisoners, I I'm going to go Balotelli. We've got Andy Morrison against Ruben Diaz, old school versus new well, school. Well, I think that's an easy one for me. Andy Morrison, I wouldn't even like to tackle Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was no nonsense. As wide as he was tall, wasn't he, Andy? He never shied away from a tackle. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't have a clue who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised that it's come up, but he's probably the biggest fighter of the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Which one am I? The ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say a draw. <laughs>